Sadly, today marks the seventh day in the search for 22-year-old University of Missouri student Riley Strain, who was last seen on March 8th, last Friday, after patronizing Luke Bryan's Bar 32 Bridge, which is located in downtown Nashville. Today, we have more updates and developments for you as we have now gotten another statement from TC Restaurant Group, the operators of Luke Bryan's Bar 32 Bridge. Over the past couple of days, we have been covering this case. Our initial video shows the initial coverage of his mysterious disappearance. Yesterday, we did a video on what we have learned now that the Tennessee Alcoholic Beverage Commission has opened a case against Luke Bryan's bar. I'm mentioning these videos for anyone who may not be entirely up to speed because eyeballs on this are important. What we also now know is that the Metro Nashville Police Department and several other search and rescue crews who have been on this scene for days have now pivoted their search into the river near Public Square Park, which is where Riley Strain's phone last pinged on March 8th around 10 to 10.30 p.m. Law enforcement and crews are working very diligently to find Riley Strain. They are sweeping that river, and not only are they putting their efforts into the water, but they also are searching by air as well. We continue to send out our prayers, our love, our thoughts to his family during such a difficult time. We are just hoping that he is found safe and he's able to be brought home. Now let's go ahead and get right into our update for you today. Again, from the TC Restaurant Group, the operators of Luke's Bar 32 Bridge in downtown Nashville, where Riley uh, last patronized before his mysterious disappearance. I wanna take you back to yesterday first, however, when we learned that TABC would be investigating the bar. The director has released a statement where he told local news station WSMV4, there are no specific rules or statutes that governs escorting out intoxicated patrons from their businesses or providing assistance in getting someone home. Now, the communications director, Aaron Rummage, continued where he said, however, state law prohibits serving alcoholic beverages to someone who is visibly intoxicated. That is a violation of a class A misdemeanor. The TABC has opened an investigation into this matter to see if any violations have occurred. Now, the new statement that we are going to share with you guys in just a moment here from TC Restaurant Group goes into more detail on that night while Riley is inside of the bar, as well as when he makes his exit out of the bar. Bar, which there has been some questions surrounding which way he left from the bar. It has been brought up that he went out of the back, his friends went out of the front, his friends were not allowed to leave with him, and now they are addressing these concerns inside of this new statement, as well as their cooperation with law enforcement throughout this entire case. So here is that statement for you guys, Luke's 32 Bridge, a statement from TC Restaurant Group and Luke's 32 Bridge. In our effort to help the Nashville Metro Police Department's missing persons investigation of Riley Strain, we proactively provided detailed information quickly after his visit to our business on March 8th. This information included all security camera footage, photos of Riley at our establishment with detailed timestamps, transaction records, and staff accounts. Additionally, we proactively engaged in communication with the Tennessee Alcoholic Beverage Commission and will continue to communicate and provide any records needed to aid their ongoing investigation. During Riley's visit to Luke's 32 Bridge, our records show he purchased and was only served one alcoholic drink and two waters. At 9.35 p.m., our security team made a decision based on our conduct standards to escort him from the venue through our Broadway exit at the front of our building. So again, they notate there it was at the front of the building and not the rear, as it has been suggested by uh, many online. He was followed down the stairs with one member of his party. The individual with Riley did not exit and returned upstairs. Our prayers continue to be with Riley's friends and family during this difficult time and for his safe return. So another allegation was that Riley's friends were not able to leave with him on that night. However, now in this statement, they are saying that one of the members of his party was with him as he went to exit. However, he went back into the bar. But we've also heard that they were trying to pay their tab as well. And then, of course, when they came outside, Riley was no longer there. And during his time at Luke's bar, they notated that it was one alcoholic drink and two waters. 
as of right now, it does not appear that we have any information really surrounding Riley's itinerary uh, for the evening prior to getting to Luke Bryan's bar. In the security footage that we have seen and the videos we have shared with you guys, um, it does look to be as though uh, he was under some sort of intoxication as he was making his way throughout the city that night. Again, we are hoping for a safe return. We want him to get back home. A truly, truly scary situation. As always, guys, that's your latest update here from CountryCast. Hit that subscribe button down below so you never miss out on any breaking updates surrounding your favorite country artist and all the news.